So we got some updates to this story. First off, I want to start with no protest whatsoever was taking place when officers were ambushed about a mile from police HQ, Baton Rouge Mayor tells MSNBC. And you can see, by the way, one of the reasons why, yes, I begin to immediately offer the, the counter uh, narrative uh, uh, to, to the gun controllers is because here they are, they're already out at it. Vote out those in the pockets of the NRA. Uh, so again, we're having a story where it looks like three cops were killed. At least uh, seven more were injured in what appears to be an ambush. Not sure how much more information is known other than that. And immediately a after that, you have the, the gun control uh, people out. That's why it's important that people of liberty come out and... Uh, Really, the, the, the core message here is no matter what, no matter how bad your feels are damaged, no matter how scared you are or afraid you are of people who don't have a magic badge on their vest, we will not be surrendering our arms anytime soon to idiots like you. It doesn't really matter how many times things like this happening ha happen. We simply will not surrender our arms. So just going to look here real quick, and we see, as you can see, three three dead, several injured in, in what's being described as an ambush shooting. At least three officers have died. Uh, the shooting happened early Sunday, less than one minute from police HQ. In a phone interview, Mayor Kip Holden said officers responded to reports of a shooting at the Be Quick store on Airline Highway where they were ambushed. Officials said several Baton Rouge police officers were struck in an exchange. And let's just play this video here. We got, there's the police siren there, and there's not much in that video. Let's see what they have to say live here as well, we're looking at this. Before we give any detailed information, what's your advice to people living in the area? Well, uh, just because we need their assistance. If they see anything suspicious, they see any cars that might be suspicious, so, don't so, belong. So there's no, so we they do not have any suspects. We have all they have no one detained yet. They just have what looks like an ambush. All our guys working, all law enforcement working. It's a tragic scene. It's an ongoing scene right now, so it's fluid. Uh, we're getting a lot of information in from our guys doing surveillance. So we're asking the community if they have seen anything, please give us a call. Well, is it one suspect down? At this particular time, no, no, down, 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 arrested. down, no, down, deceased, one suspect deceased, deceased, deceased. So there you so go, much. one suspect dead. I don't want to give specific numbers right now. And they're not giving uh, specific numbers, and they're not the talking about and, exactly. Uh, we believe that they are deceased. So, we're so I guess all the questions that everybody's going to. Before we give a specific number. Do you know how many suspects you're looking for? We're not 100% sure. That's why we put it out. We, we do believe it's more than one suspect, okay. though. That's why we're trying to get this me message out as quickly as possible. I'm not 100% sure what the, how many people were behind this, suspect. although they believe that's it's why I'm here multiple giving you this information uh, right now. Any description on the suspects? suspects. That's why we're asking if you see anybody. Uh, they have one shooter wearing, that is uh, dead. And they're wearing a mask. If they're wearing anything that's out there. Please give us a call. I can't get into specifics right now. This particular suspect that's down, that's why we put an information out. They're wearing all black. If they're wearing anything of army fatigue, uh, anything that's suspicious in nature, uh, if they're carrying long guns, rifles, handguns, uh, if you have uh, any cars in the area uh, that don't belong, that's parked on the side of the all road right. or the street. Please. And let's just see what we got over here. We've Oh, this is the same thing as the other thing. So, uh... What we have here, it looks like another targeted shooting. Of course, we're going to hear the false flag folks and everyone else. Uh, I would say stand by your principles and your standards right now. We don't know fact from fiction in a world in which the media is essentially the state and the state is the media. So we don't know what's true, what's not true. Is this a false flag? Uh, I'm absolutely not saying that it's a false flag. I don't usually go down the false flag rabbit holes. Uh, but I will say this, for those of us in liberty, we need to stand strong, defiant, and send the message out very clearly. 
our right to self-defense is a non-negotiable right. I say right. It is. It is. Uh, we. We. Is it. Is it a right or is it simply who we are as human beings? Human beings are born with an innate desire, an innate instinct to defend themselves. When other human beings want to deprive these human beings from their innate right to self-defense, there's something that just doesn't line up with nature. We will not negotiate with you because you are afraid. We will always, always resist any effort to try to strip us from our, our natural born instinct to defend ourselves against all potential threats. So we're, I'll, I'll keep updating this story as we get more information. But I, again, I want to uh, call on our Liberty community to, 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 to get out there, get out there now. Every time these things happen, we don't, we don't need to wait for the dust to settle to immediately begin to push our narrative out there that we will not comply for the sake of satisfying your fear. This is Paul Gordon of State of Wake. If you like this video, be sure you like, share, and comment. Even if you don't like this video, go ahead and comment because you know you're going to anyway. Uh, and the comments are down below. And the links to all of the videos in this series will also be below. And you can go to the first video as well. And above all else, be sure that you subscribe to State of Wake so you can get these types of videos as well as other types of videos as well.